All right, welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, thank you guys for checking out the videos. Thank you for subscribing and liking the videos as well. Okay, so um, I told you guys that I made a Twitter post a couple of days ago, uh, September 5th. Today is the 7th of September, September 5th, saying, hey, Guru Benny. And the reason why I said Guru Benny, not it's not a disrespect. I think some because I saw some people unfollow me when I because I put Guru Benny on there. Um, but... If I had put Benny, no one would know who he was, okay? And I'm not going to put his full name on Twitter. It's, I, don't, I don't need to do that. But um, the reason why I even post is because I'm, I guess he was uh, talking about um, or saying something about the uh, elites have a plan for September 13th, right? Now, Yes, we yes the uh there is a plan to to uh discredit the gurus and but they already do they've already done it themselves and we've already talked about that years ago that that would happen in the end the gurus would be, and I we said you know gurus would be in trouble in the end because they were going to be you know find out that they're liars you right you know uh private groups and all that stuff but that's not what we're here for okay um and so when uh Benny I'm guessing Benny had a show um, and the reason why I know is because somebody posted it here and I went and, and I guess we all, some of us were able to get and see it. So I guess he's getting blocked from the, uh, Facebook or something. So anyways, I opened this up and he said that the elites had plan or uh, were planning on, um, they were planning on going after the gurus and shutting everything down at the end. Right. But this is something that we've talked about two years ago. We talked, we talked about that. So that's not, I already know that. So I didn't, that's why I didn't talk about that here. Now, Benny, I think, taught, thought that because I bleeped these out, they were cuss words. That's not the case. These are letters, okay? These are letters. And so what I'm going to do is because, and as a matter of fact, let's just, let me just read this. Hey, Guru Benny, this is uh, the September 13th event your elites have planned. And then, so this is the uh, the letters, okay? These are the, these are words, okay? Um and uh, elite decoded. Okay, so I thought this was easy, you know, and that's because that this is what I do. But it, you know, it is what it is. And I thought you guys would be able to get it very easily because it's something that's being talked about right now. And when you get it, if you did get it, you would you be like, oh my god, that was so easy, right? But it's it's blowing your mind because. You're not thinking about it, but it's something that's being talked about right now, all over and over again right now. Okay, uh, and so people were saying all types of stuff here, and no one really got it. And then we, and somebody did post the uh, the uh, Benny show here since he was been blocked from Facebook. Okay, so I went to the and Benny was. And this is it right here. Um, he has. Uh, I'm guessing this is Jesus. <laughs> He's, you know. His version of Jesus, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's fine. You know, long as, you know, like I said before, I did a video on that. I said, we understand that people are posting uh, pictures of Cesar Bogier and and, and uh, people that are not, that don't look like Yeshua, um, but they're doing it, you know, that's who they resemble. That's who they want to represent. And they do, they're doing it out of love. They're not doing it to say, you must follow a white Jesus or you must follow a black Jesus or you must follow. They're, 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 they're doing it because of love and, and they this is what they want to use as Jesus Christ. Okay, so we've already covered that. But anyways, he did a show here and um, on September 5th. So I... And he talked about the elites uh, trying to, uh, that are going to, they have a master plan to take down, I guess that they're going to start coming after the gurus, I guess, and centering the gurus or something like that and taking them out. I did talk about that about a, two years ago anyways, uh, that in the end, uh, we will see TNT Tony and all these people get in trouble and TNT Tony did go to jail and we thought that was a time frame where we were going to see something and uh, they continue to delay and delay and delay uh, the revaluation, okay? So... Uh, I'm pretty sure more of it's coming. More gurus are going to be and doing that. So that's why I stepped away and uh, and uh, I'm, I just I just post my uh, quotes and articles on Twitter. Okay, just like every other Iraqi does. Okay, it's kind of interesting that that people care way more about what the Americans say and we don't even live in Iraq than what the Iraqis on Twitter are saying. It's mind blowing to me. Uh, and people take their frustrations out on 
on my po my Twitter post when you why don't you go to the Iraqis and, and and post over there and tell them to go storm the buildings and stuff. They they they, they live there. I don't. <laughs> it's kind of funny that he will take the time out to 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 put frustrations on my Twitter post about a about a quote from an article or quote from a uh, a politician in Iraq. But yet the Iraqis are posting on Twitter in English as well, and you don't want to go over there. And they live in that country. You can tell them themselves, hey, go, go with your boys and do something about this. Let's go, right? And you don't want to do that. So you want to, you know, people want to complain on my Twitter posts. So it's kind of weird. Um, anyway, so this, let's just listen to what Benny had to say here. I did come to this part because I think this is where he starts talking about me. And um, let's just see what he says. Turn it up. So we can share this information right now. Because you've been asking me the same thing. I'm not going to mention the bad words that my brother in Christ is planning to basically censoring. Okay, let me pause it there. They're not bad words. So that's number one. So he was wrong on that. So let's continue. Uh, but uh, let me show you how funny the thing is, okay? All right, hold on. Hello. Hi. All right, so we're going to watch uh, John Nigo publication. Okay. And he says right this. Uh, it says, hey, Guru Benny. Huh? This is September 13 event your elites have planned. Holy F macaroni crap encoded. Elite <laughs> decoded. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. That's way off. But it's funny though. Well, what can I tell you? <laughs> well, what do you want me to tell you? Hmm. you know, it's conspiracy, right? Well what can I tell you? Let's wait. Yeah, amen. And now we have the news about the plane, you know. A hundred people got sick. What a coincidence, oh. isn't it? Wow. They and Benny, sick. that's not the huh? flu. That's what? not the flu. I know. You know it, and I know it. All right. So, it's funny, and uh, but that's not that's not the code, okay? Um, so, what I'm going to do is, because since Benny doesn't get, um, no, doesn't know the, the, um, the code, I'm going to, I'm just going to give back to the community. Whoever can figure out this code, Okay, and then let me put a time frame on this because I don't want this to go on for weeks and weeks. There's no need to do it because it's going. To, it's all over the. It's all over right now. It's all over social media. It's all over the television. You guys should know what this is, okay? And so I'm not going to give it time. I'm not going to give it that long of time frame. Let's just say within the next 24 hours, whoever figures out this code, which is very simple code to figure out, I will give a hundred dollars to and. Um, and uh, let me see, should I do it in Ethereum Classic or should I do it actual just $100 or what the case may be? I don't know. I'll have to figure it out because, I, you know, I, I, most of my money is in crypto. So I would have to figure it out. But, um, uh, but that's between the person who figures out the code and myself. So the first person that comes to my Twitter, I'm going to retweet this. Let me do it. Let me uh, retweet this. Uh, I'm just going to retweet this. And the first person, I'm, I'm going to do it after I post the video so it could be fair because the people on Twitter will then be able to get a way head start. Okay, so I'm going to retweet this. And as soon as the video goes up, you got 24 hours to figure this easy code out. <laughs> okay, and uh, if whoever figures it out first, we'll get $100 and we'll just make it fun, uh, have some fun with it. Okay, so there it is. Um, I, it's, these are not cuss words, okay? I, um, these are actual, these dots are like your, um, you know how you have um, passwords and you type a password and it, and it brings up, you know, like, and it hides it? That's basically what it is. All I am is, this is a letter and it's hiding. This is a letter and it's hiding, okay? And that's all it is, okay? So, and this should be very simple. Somebody knows this. I mean, my God, it's all over everywhere it's everywhere ladies and gentlemen this is everywhere and once you see it you'll be like oh my god how did i not know that okay so it's everywhere it's not cuss words 
Um, it's nothing like that. Um, and I don't even think about cuss words anyway. So, you know what I mean? I don't even think about cuss words. I don't think about none of that stuff. That's not me anyways. Um, but either way, it was, it was funny. It was, it was fun. Um, and then Benny had me laughing there. But anyways, I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that if you guys listen to that show, uh, that's not what it is. Uh, and, uh, if you come on Twitter and you can figure this out, then, um, then, uh, and you're the first one to figure out the H and the, uh, the H word, the F word, the, uh, M word, the S word, the E word and the C word, and you figure it out, you, I will, I will give you a hundred dollars and just going to have fun with this. Okay. So that's it. Uh, talk to you guys later. I believe, I believe that. Prophecy is happening right now. I believe that we are about to end our journey. I believe that there will be chaos and panic because that's the way it's supposed to be before we get our blessing. I believe God is going to manifest in the biggest way that goes beyond your imagination. I believe, not because I want to get rich. I don't. I know. Trust me, I don't. Because I've been there. The more money you get, the more problems you get. The more complication life gets, the more... Uh, the more people, fake people, come to your life. So looking forward again to have a lot of money is not my first priority. I believe because God, God always delivers. He always does. That's why I believe. That's why I spend my time over here. I do a lot of my errands and I say I gotta I gotta come to the people. I gotta tell the people, look, look how beautiful our Lord is working for us. Look. And I'm gonna prove it to you one more time. I'm gonna decode the prophecy of King Clement right in front of you. Are you ready? I'm gonna decode it in such a way that I start crying. Yes, I did. Because the whole day God's been speaking to me. Believe it or not, He's been speaking to me. Who would have thought that God would speak to a sinner like me? Who would have thought that? That is amazing. God goes beyond imagination. God is amazing. I can stop being shocked about Him and I cannot be, you know, stop being amazed by His grace. I just can't. I just can't be stop being amazed by His grace. Today is going to be a beautiful day or a beautiful night because right now it's 3.37 p.m. Pacific time. We're still in the uh, daytime. And for some other view, it's 6.37, if I'm not mistaken, p.m. in the Eastern time in my beautiful Puerto Rico island. Bienvenidos. Um, la canción se llama Yo te creo O yo creo, perdón Y habla de lo maravilloso que, que es creer en Cristo Yo dije, yo también creo Yo creo no porque mis papás me enseñaron No, yo creo por propia evidencia Porque yo lo viví Yo creo que Dios sí te va a liberar ahorita Porque ya estamos en las puertas Te voy a presentar una decodificación enfrente de tus ojos. Vas a llorar. Vas a llorar. De la misma forma que yo lloré. 
me tomó cinco años para entender la palabra profética de King Clement. Hasta ahorita, todas las palabras proféticas son muy difíciles de decodificar. Muy difíciles. No es algo que de volada tú lo ves y dices, ah, sí va a pasar esto. No. Ahora ya amigo, mi hermano en Cristo, el profeta ya amigo, está ofreciendo 100 dólares para las personas que quieran decodificar la letra que yo, por, por jugar, dije una mala palabra, o sea, no dije una mala palabra en inglés, pero me pensé yo que tal vez era eso, cosa que yo ya sé que él no habla mal. Uh, así que mantente en sintonía, también voy a responder cinco emails que me mandaron en español. Uh, y quiero ser sincero con todos ustedes, ok? Así que mantente en sintonía. Alright, guys, so, as you know, it's difficult to make a bilingual show. It's very difficult. I have received five letters right now, five emails from people that are complaining. They saying, look, man, you know, we appreciate that you come out and do my uh, bilingual show, but sometimes you just lose it and we just don't get all the information we want to get. And that is true. That is 100% true. For those who are bilingual, there is no problem about it. But for those who don't speak English, that's the big problem. And I wish I could just do that. I, c I wish I could just do one show in English and one show in Spanish. The reason why I did the last show, Destructions, was because I care about everybody. I want to make sure that you understand. And you know, for nothing to happen to you. Now we're seeing a lot of things happening with a flight from three different countries. And as I told you, they're going to try to stop it one more time. They're going to, tr they're even going to try to uh, make another 9-11. They've been trying to do that for the last 18 years and uh, hopefully they won't do it again. Because the demon is manifesting right now, we are seeing a lot of prophets talking about it, and everything is happening right in front of our eyes. So the divine intel, the divine manifestation is happening right here, right now. Only those who don't want to believe, and those who just need more evidence that God exists, they're just going to continue crapping, they're going to continue being bullied, they're going to continue being attacking me, just like right now, because I had a hacker. Yes, I was just hacked when I was doing my show the first time. And uh, this is not the first time. I've been hacked before several times in my speaker, and now they're focusing to kick me out on Vimeo, and I'm talking about the hackers. Um, but uh, I had to go back again and had to do it again because the show must continue, right? So we're going to put all the pieces together again and um, watch. I'm going to decode the, uh, one of the uh, beautiful prophetic words of King Clement. I'm going to decode it right in front of your eyes. I cry. I spend about an hour crying because... My friend, with me and my friend, Patrick, we spent about two hours trying to find out what it was. Two hours trying to find out what it was. The symbol of the RB. Well, you are about to hear here in about half an hour. You will know what the symbol of the RB is. So stay tuned. I will show you. I just decoded it. And I spent one hour crying because we finally, we finally know what is the symbol of the RB. Así que por favor manténganse en sintonía. Les voy a dar cuál es el símbolo del RB según la palabra profética de King Clement. All right, vamos a hablarle a la pastora otra vez. We're gonna call Pastor McCoy. And then we're going to go through the uh, pieces together again, and uh, let's have fun. We're going to have fun, okay? We're going to have a lot of fun here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and, uh, well, as you know, my brother in Christ and prophet, uh, John Nick is offering $100 to those 
um, to those uh, who can uh, decode the posting that I did on Facebook, uh, Facebook, and uh, what it actually mean? I was just playing, you know. I just didn't want to spend the time to, uh, you know, to uh, to know what it was. I was just playing. I don't have the time for that, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Um, but you know one thing. Uh, let me just call my pastor. Let, uh, let me just tell. Let me tell her right in front of all of you what I what I think. I just heard something that I didn't know. I just didn't know this. Okay. Ahorita le voy a decir lo que está pasando. Déjeme llamar a la. Good afternoon, Mr. Wilson. Hello, Miss McCoy. <laughs> How you doing? How are you? All right. Okay. Um, first of all. Uh, John Nico is offering $100 to decode his uh, message, his uh, Twitter message. Um, Can you give me the code and I'll get the $100? <laughs> uh, everybody, no, you know what? Believe it or not, I got like seven messages. Hey, man, can you give me, the, do me a favor, really need some money. Can you send me the decode? I was like, man, I, was, I don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for that, man. <laughs> and like I serious, I got seven people messaging me. You know, hey, can you please decode it for me, man? I really need the money. They need a hundred dollars, man. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, I can't believe it, right? So, uh, I believe yeah. it. That's, that's smart. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So, oh, by the way, no, I never thought that that nigga speak bad language. At all, I was just playing around. I am around. so happy, so uh, happy because I really like John. And yeah. I was like so disappointed. No, 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 no. He never spe No, he never does that. He's really, he's really, I'm honest. He's really a sweetheart. Um, yeah, he is. I, but I there's, the there's something. So there is something. No idea. There is something that he shared on that video that I just played that I didn't know. I want to share with you. Okay. okay. I didn't know that he already talked about. All the gurus were going to look like a clown. Everybody's going to get in trouble. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I heard that. I didn't know that. I was shocked. I was like, what? You know, this is the reason why I tell all my jets. You want to hear something from God? Listen to him. Yeah. You want to hear, you wanna hear something that comes from man, for a man that he fears the living God? Listen to John Nigel. I have always said it. Always. Okay? Always. This man always nailed it. Always. And many of you are posting, you know, his Twitter. That's fine. Because you need to pay attention to the Spirit, to the Holy Spirit. We believe in the Holy Spirit because He's a living God. And He will manifest with His prophets and His anointing people. And believe it or not, with a sinner like me. Because God does not limit himself. He just doesn't. That's why he's God. And this is the thing that many many Christians don't don't get it. I many know, Christians it's called his grace. Right? Yes, yes. It's, grace. Just, it's, it's something that many Christians just don't get it because you know that's like dogma. That's the religious dogma that they have. Undes you know that undeserved love. Undeserved. Yes. Is is um, he will use he will use anyone at any time. It doesn't matter who it is, where he come from. Amen. I even was told that, that God said that I'm going to even manifest my power. He said and my glory to through ma Muslims. Amen. Through Jewish, to Jewish people, to Muslims. He said to 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 uh, to Indians, to Hindus. He start going through all the religions that are not Christian, Christian oriented. All of them. He start going like that, and I start crying. I was like, "He said I'm not limited. He said I am limitless." Amen. You know. So these are the things that, you know, it's really this is what that I say when I'm not, I'm not saying it to offend anybody, but. You got, you don't know your God. I don't mind know my God. <laughs> okay? And he proved it today. I'm going to share with you something that happened today in downtown Los Angeles. I even posted a, a picture of a building. And uh, wait, I'm going to share the information with you guys. Wait. And I will let you know what happened, okay? <laughs> I'm Sounds telling you. Good. Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. Ahorita vamos a hablar... Um, de lo que está ofreciendo John Nigo, 
le está dando 100 dólares a la persona que puede decodificar lo que él puso en su mensaje de Twitter. Claro, muchos de ustedes no entienden inglés, así que no es para ti, pero te estoy diciendo lo que estamos hablando ahorita. Uh, también voy a, a compartir contigo información exclusiva de lo que pasó conmigo cuando yo fui al gimnasio aquí en Los Ángeles, en el downtown Los Ángeles, el centro de Los Ángeles, con quién me encontré y qué es lo que pasó conmigo y qué es lo que va a pasar muy pronto. Así que pon mucha atención, um, porque este señor, Jan Nigo, que es un profeta también, él había hablado hace años de que los gurus iban a caer mal, que todos los gurus iban a ser revelados como mentirosos y que se iban a meter en problemas. Y yo no sabía eso. Él lo dijo en el video, yo no sabía eso. Porque yo acabo de dar la noticia de que la élite va a ir en contra de ellos. Los va a cerrar la boca a todos. A todos, ¿ok? Por eso que ese es el problema que hay ahorita. Yo sé que mi show se fue viral. Hay algunos gurús que ya empezaron a hablar. Otros que no creen para nada que va a pasar y otros que sí creen eso. Uh, yo no quiero sonar controversial. Pero te voy a decir algo. Porque muchos de ustedes viven en Puerto Rico. Y muchos de los que te dan la información a ti, también se van a meter en problemas, especialmente en Puerto Rico, ¿ok? Se van a meter en problemas porque van a utilizar una ley federal que existe, ¿ok? Incluyendo la señora aquella que te dijo y que te sigue diciendo que vas a cambiar y que estos grupos privados, todos van a ir a la cárcel, ¿ok? Y vas a verlo, muy pronto va a salir esto. Okay, so we're going to be talking about uh, God. We're going to watch the manifestation of our Lord. Amen. And um, let me just share with you what happened to me before we go on. Shall we? <laughs> Is this the epiphany? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> It could be. It could be. Well, let me just tell you what happened, okay? okay. I... Uh, As you know, my body is still aching because a lot of exercise. And I got my own trainer, and he's very pushy, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness! So he sh he look at me and go, man, ah oh, man, don't give me that face. And go like, get in here. <laughs> and like, okay, oh, no. and he start working me out, I start suffering. So I I, I live through, right? I live through the whole pain, and then I left. <laughs> I left, and I went upstairs. We got a Target, Target store. I don't know if you're familiar with Target. No. Okay, Target's a store. Just uh, one of those cheap stores. Oh, okay. We used to have them here. They oh, yeah. Them. There you go. I, uh, there you go. They <laughs> take them out because they're so cheap, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, anyway, so I went to Target and I was looking for, um, you know, some uh, audio, audio, uh, audio phones uh, for, my, for my cell phone. And uh, I look at this girl, and I did not want to talk to the girl. Be honest. I'm being honest. I did not want to talk to the girl. The moment that I saw that girl, I know that she was going to, you know, talk to, you. Talk to me, mean flirting, stuff like that, you know. I just can't tell. So I turned around, and there was a guy. And, the, the, and I said, the guy, hey, can you help me out? He said, yeah, what is it? And he said, uh, I need an audio, uh, you know, audio, uh, just those yeah. audios, yeah, those, uh, how do you call this, H head audio, whatever, oh my anyway. god, anyway, so, so he got me one of the Apple, and somebody's calling me now, hold on, no, I'm not taking calls, sorry, so, um, so I talked to him, he said, uh, yeah, grab this one, so I was, Robin this one right and I pay listen to this I pay him and then all of a sudden the girl that I was talking about he grabbed me she grabbed me from behind what she grabbed me from behind hold on let me just answer this phone call. I'm on my show dude stop talking to me stop calling me I'm in my show bye oh, fuck sorry for that I can't stand it. He knows that I'm on my show. Why he calling me? You know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, then um, 
So she grabbed you. She grabbed me from behind. I was like, what the heck is going on? And she grabbed me from behind. She goes, she goes, um, oh, I, I thought you want to talk to me. I was like, what? She went like that. When I, I, I thought you want to talk to me. I said, no. What she, why would I want to talk to you? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that you were somebody else. When she said that, believe it or not, I felt something very negative. Okay, mm -hmm. so I pay, grab the stuff, and I went to the, you know, to pay for my stuff. Those are little machines that you know you can pay for yourself, and I pay, and there was no problem. When I left from the store, and I went walk all the way. As I was walking, I got into a restaurant, and I asked, "Hey, can I have that, you know, li little play for me, and my mom?" And I. And then it was time for me to pay. When I reached for my wallet, my wallet was gone. <gasps> no. My wallet was gone. But wait, no. wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. What happened before that? Okay. Let me tell you what happened before that. I found a dime. A dime. You know, one little cent dime in my walk. I said, oh, a dime. And I grab it. And I put it in my in my in my packet, and I say, "Look at me!" I said, "Wait a minute! I I, don't, I cannot do that. This is not this is not me. This is does not belong to me." So I put that dime back, okay? Mm -hmm. I put the the dime back on the floor, okay. and then God talked to me. He said, "Remember our deal." And I said, "My Lord, yes, I remember, my Lord. That it doesn't belong to me." Let me tell you what happened uh, long time ago. God told me that he was going to use me. And he said, I shall, I shall, I may shall forgive you for your rampage, but I may not forgive you for your past habits. The past habit that I used to do is that when I was a banker, like I, as I said it many times, when I was a banker, I was forced to convince people to get into bad deals. And if I couldn't get like 10 cents or 5 cents, I don't care. I will grab it. Okay? We were mm -hmm. forced to be predators. Yeah. Okay? So, God told me that. I may forgive you for your rampage, meaning when I curse. Yep. But I may not forgive you for your past habits. So, when I grabbed that dime, that was the past habit. And I said, my Lord, I'm going to... He's going to give me a lesson. Yes. Bingo. That's what happened. That, that girl grabbed my wallet. And as I was leaving, when I realized that I didn't have the, the, the wallet, I said to myself, and I started praying. I said, I, I, I know I, I violated an agreement. I know, my Lord, but please forgive me. I need you to forgive me, my Lord. I did not mean to to uh, offend you you know that i love you you know that you are everything for me and then all of a sudden he said go back to the store so i went back to the store and guess what happened what the girl got arrested and they gave me my wallet back <laughs> praise god yeah that that the, the girl got arrested and they gave me the wallet. And that girl worked in that place. What? Yes. A pickpocket. Yes. That's God. You know, and this is the reason why I said to everybody, you don't know my God. Wow. You know, you don't know. And that shows you how much you know the voice of God too, yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. So let me just share it with the Latinos because right now they're probably thinking, well, what is he saying? <laughs> okay. Okay. Le estaba diciendo que mi pastora de que me fui a una tienda que se llama Target. Yo no sé si en Puerto Rico hay esa tienda, pero es una tienda bajera, ¿no? Y fui a comprarme unos audífonos. Y mientras estaba comprando los audífonos había una chica bien bonita, la chica. Y yo dije, no le voy a hablar a ella. Voy a hablar con el otro tipo. No sé por qué me dio mal la espina esa mujer. Y le hablé a un tipo, le dije, mira, quiero estos audífonos, pagué por los audífonos y de repente la chica me, me agarró por atrás. Ella me agarró por atrás y me dice, 
oye, no me querías hablar, me dice, y le digo, ¿por qué te quiero hablar? ¿Por qué tendría que hablarte? Me dice, oh, perdona, que yo que pensé que era otra persona, me dijo. Me dio una mala espina, pero antes de eso, antes de que pasara eso, yo me encontré un centavo de 10 centavos, un dime, aquí le decimos así, un dime de 10 centavos. Y dije yo, no, pues me lo voy a agarrar y agarrar el dime y me lo puse en la bolsa. Y cuando me lo puse en la bolsa me recordé que era un acuerdo que había hecho con Dios. Yo hice un acuerdo con Dios, me dijo, Dios, yo te voy a utilizar, me dijo, yo te voy a utilizar, pero yo podría olvidarte, yo podría perdonarte tus ataques, o sea, los ataques cuando yo empiezo a hablar mal, pero yo no, yo no, podría, uh, eh, yo no podría perdonarte tus malos hábitos, los hábitos de antes, me dijo, y los hábitos de antes era cuando mi jefe me obligaba a mí a hacer cosas que los banqueros mucho hacen, que básicamente somos predadores. Si podemos agarrarte 10 centavos o 15 centavos, cualquier interés oculto, lo hacíamos. Um, porque teníamos que tener nuestro trabajo. Y entonces, cuando yo agarré ese centavo, me recordé. Lo que hice que lo dejé en el suelo. Y me fui. Fue cuando ella me agarró, cuando te dije yo que ella me agarró por atrás, me agarró la cartera. Y cuando yo no me di cuenta, cuando yo me salí de la, de la tienda, me di, cuando iba a un restaurante, iba a, a pagar y me di cuenta que mi cartera se había desaparecido. Fue ahí cuando hablé con Dios y le dije al Padre, ayúdame, perdóname, yo sé que, no te, que, que, que tal vez te he ofendido, pero yo no te quería ofender. Y me dijo Dios, regresa a la tienda. Regresé a la tienda y me di cuenta que la muchacha que trabajaba en esa tienda la habían arrestado y me dieron mi cartera de vuelta. ¿Ok? Para que veas que con Dios no se juega. All right. So now you know. <laughs> Good. All right. So we're going to back. We're going to go back to, um, to the prophetic word of King Clement. Well, maybe, maybe we should leave that for last. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, I cried for an hour, believe it or not, I did. Wow. I cried for an hour because this is something that Patrick, the guy from uh, Swiss Switzerland, and myself, Patrick, if you listen to me, man, I found that out, dude. We spent two hours trying to find out what was that, that King Kamen, King Kamen mentioned on, on his prophecy. I'm going to play the prophecy, and then I'm going to read to you in English what he said. What is the symbol of the RB? Pay attention. What is the symbol of the RB? I'm going to tell you what is the symbol. And symbol what is it represent? Signal. Symbol. Okay. It's a symbol of the RB. Okay. Because even he, he even King Clement said it. Okay. He even King Clement said, pay attention to the symbol. Okay. So we got, I decoded it because God was speaking to me the whole day. Wow. The whole day was speaking to me, okay? And then I said, wait a minute. Now that so he's I, speaking to me, let me find out what is the symbol. <laughs> yeah. And he said, he said, my Lord, what is the symbol, my Lord? What is the symbol? And he just grabbed my hands and started going through Google. And I got it. Then I was like crying. I was like, yes, yes. You know, this is, this is what I need. This is what we need. This is a... Uh, confirmation that we right there wow. we are right there Woo. okay so i'm telling you you're going to enjoy tonight's show i really hope so um okay vamos a hacer esto primero y después te voy a enseñar cuál es el símbolo del arbi según la palabra profética de king clement um, dios me movió las manos y descubrí cuál es el símbolo okay te lo voy a leer en español también así que no te preocupes el video es en inglés la carta es en inglés, pero yo te voy a leer todo en español. Uh, one second, guys. One second, please. Let me just explain something because this has been uh, five people sending me emails. So I got to explain something to, the, to them. Hold on. Número uno, amigos, hermanos y hermanas. Para los que son nuevos, tú no sabes absolutamente nada de lo que hemos pasado. ¿Ok? Número dos. Tienes toda la razón que cuando yo hago un show en bilingüe, yo le pierdo el hilo en español. 
Sí, no me está diciendo una mentira, esa es la verdad. Desafortunadamente, hermana y hermano, no tengo otra opción. Yo he tratado de acomodarlos a ustedes para que bien sepan ustedes por lo menos algo de cómo está el proceso del Arbi y cómo Dios te va a bendecir. Pero desafortunadamente, cuando yo traté de acomodar a los latinos, solo tuve tres cosas. Una, ataques. Dos, burlas. Tres, más ataques. He sido atacado tanto en Puerto Rico como en la Internet por lo que yo he dicho. He sido atacado hasta en este el mismo charrum cuando yo tenía un charro en español y se metieron todos los troles y nadie me dijo nada. Así que tuve que quitar el charro en español. Tuve que moverlos a todos otra vez acá, sí, y todavía acomodarlos para darle la información en español. Y ahora se quejan porque le pierde el hilo. Lo siento mucho, es muy difícil hacer un show en bilingüe, muy difícil. Si para ti es bastante penoso, bastante es un problema, As oír, solamente imagínate cómo es para la gran mayoría, porque ustedes son la, la minoría, ustedes solamente representan apenas el 2%. Yo tengo miles de cientos de personas que ahorita me están escuchando en español que no saben ni lo que estoy diciendo. ¿Me entiendes? Por lo menos estoy acomodándolos a ustedes para darle información, porque los quiero, no es porque estoy, estoy herido, no, porque los quiero. Desafortunadamente mi vida es muy ocupada, tengo negocios personales, tengo que cuidar de mi madre, y cuando yo voy al, al internet y hago mis shows, realmente es... Tengo que hacer todo de una vez. Yo hasta he pensado hacer un show en inglés un día y el otro día lo hago en español. Si ustedes quieren, y este es un mensaje solamente para los latinos, tanto que solamente hablan español como para las personas que hablen que sean bilingües. Esto es lo como una vez más voy a tratar de acomodarlos a ustedes. Porque ya tengo bastantes personas que se están quejando que le pierde el hilo. Vamos a hacer algo. Voy a hacer un show en un día o dos días a la semana en español, solamente. Y no voy a hacer shows en inglés esos dos días. ¿Ok? Pero mira bien que la gente se va a quejar. Porque las noticias vienen todos los días y la gente va a querer que yo les dé información. Yo soy el único gurú en todo Dinarlan que hace esto. Nadie se queja con ellos, pero ustedes se pueden quejar conmigo. Así que por favor, si tú quieres que yo te dé un show un día, dímelo. Voy a tratar de hacerlo, aunque no te lo prometo. Yo no te lo voy a prometer. ¿Ok? Porque todos los días hay noticias nuevas. Así que cuando yo vaya a salir en español, tal vez tenga noticias muy importantes en inglés que dar. Así que es algo igual. Así que tiene dos opciones. Escuchar estos shows en bilingüe. Y después preguntarme de qué estaba hablando por privado. Tal vez te puedo, o, o que yo lo voy a poner en español. Tal vez en Facebook. ¿Verdad? Para que entienda lo que se habló. O, o no sé. Pero yo estoy haciendo un sacrificio acá. Espero que entiendan. Ok. Alright. So basically what I just said was that because a lot of people are telling me that I lose basically the rhythm. When I give you guys the information in English and I go back in Spanish, they don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And I said it many times, this is very difficult for me. Very difficult. Because look. Before, if you all remember, before I used to do a show in Spanish and a show in English. Tell me one guru, bilingual, that had ever done that. I understand that Fran is my brother in Christ, he is bilingual. He's not doing it. 
Not that, not that I'm attacking him. I'm not attacking him at all. I respect him and love him. You know? But uh, there's others that are not so popular or not so well recognized. Look, look, man. I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything, okay? Trust me. But uh, they're not doing it. It's and very when, difficult. It, it's very difficult. And when they do it in Spanish, guess what they do? They lie. They lie and they actually telling you to don't believe in Christ, don't believe in Jesus. I know it. Wow. Okay? I know one. Because I even got into that call. Alright? But this is the situation. This is the not land. This is the land of the fairy tales. This is the land of the lies. This is the land of the aliens. This is the land of the family dragon. And all that bull crap. So when somebody like me come over here and say, come to the kingdom of God first, look. There's a reaction. There's a very ugly reaction. So I'm sorry to my Latino people. But I'm trying to accommodate everybody. All right? Believe me, if you think that this is not really, I even told them in Spanish, you feel uncomfortable watching me or listening to my show, ask the Anglo speaking, how do they feel when I speak Spanish? Amen, yeah. They lose it. So I know that. I totally, totally know that they've been really tolerant. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. For the bottom of my heart, I'm telling to every single one who only speak English, I love you. I appreciate that you've been tolerant toward me, toward, toward my cursing, toward my, toward my stuff that I do, toward me speaking in Spanish when everything is getting really good. I, I want to publicly, publicly ask for apology. I want to... I want you to forgive me for this. But I'm trying to help everybody. Okay? I really do. Because I care about you. I care about everybody. And when I look at Jesus, I don't, I don't look at him as a white guy. Believe it or not. I really like the, the idea that he's black. <laughs> Believe it or not. I like the idea that he might be black. I don't want to sound controversial. I don't want to sound controversial, but uh, he's not really that black. Let me put it that way. Okay? <laughs> Halfway in between. Yes, kind of. Okay? Kind of. Um, and I got a video that can prove that. <laughs> All right? Believe it or not. Maybe I should, I should show the video. Should I show the video? I don't know. Is it? Because uh, uh, I'm going to, look, I know many Christians will not accept it. But this is the part of the new paradigm. Okay? I have talked about the new paradigm. I have talked about the things that will shake the church and all the churches, including the Catholic Church. I have said it many times. I know information that can shake, shake your beliefs. And I have kept it in secret. Yeah. Okay? Because I don't want to sound controversial. I want you to be more focused in Jesus. Amen. And it involves Jesus, believe it or not. I can prove it to you. But I don't want to sound controversial right now. I don't want to show. I got the video right here, right now. I can show it to you. And I can tell you detail by detail how they come out with this technology. Okay? It's a technology. Okay? But I don't want to show it right now. If you want to watch the video, send me an email at bennyinterrb at gmail.com. If you want me to be give you the information that I keep in hold, I want you to send me an email at bennyinterrbgmail.com. Like I said, if you are open for this information, I will give it to you. If you're not open for this information, do me a big favor. Save your tax. Yeah. I'm warning you. Okay? I'm warning you. 
the information that I'm going to give you is going to vary, is, I, is going to go viral. I'm telling you this. Yeah. Okay? Is, uh, this is the reason. I don't want to sound like I know a lot of stuff and I don't have no proof. I have proof. That's the reason why they don't want me in Facebook. That's the reason they don't want me even in Twitter. Because I give you information, guys, that you don't know. And when I give you the information, I got myself in a lot of problems. Okay? I'm not joking about this. Alright? So, if you really want me to give you the information, besides the intel, tomorrow, or I don't know, maybe the next week, send me an email at bennyintelrb uh, gmail.com. And by the way, what you're watching right now is called Web Talk. I'm looking for all of you to share this video. If you are on Web Talk, underneath that's my link. Join me in Web Talk. Let's leave Facebook for once and for all. They already kicked me out from uh, Facebook Live. And uh, I believe they're going to kick me from Facebook very soon. Uh, a las personas que quieran escuchar una información que yo he hablado antes acerca de cómo era Jesucristo. Si era blanco, si era negro, si era chino, si era chaparrito, lo que tú quieres saber. Esta es una información exclusiva. No quiero sonar controversial, pero es información que yo le he mantenido en secreto. Porque no quiero ofender a nadie. Yo no quiero ofender a nadie. Vuelvo a repetirlo. Si tú quieres que yo hable de, este, de esta información en mi siguiente show, mándame un correo a benintelarbi.com. ¿Ok? Y te voy, a, te voy a dar en inglés y en español de qué se trata. Es una tecnología. Y de esa tecnología se sabe cómo es Cristo, cómo fue Cristo en persona. Yo sé que esta información va a ofender a muchos. Así que por favor... No quiero, si tú crees que te vas a sentir ofendido por esta información, te ruego que te ahorres tus ataques. Ya di la advertencia. Ok. All right. So, that's the information that I got for all of you. Um, and now, I also want to give you the information of Vimeo. This is Vimeo, and that is my channel. Vimeo.com backslash divine intel. That is my channel. As you can see, there's an arrow, there's a black arrow. You need to press the follow button. Why do you need to press the follow button? So you can be notified by email when I go live. Okay? And you need to register. Of course, you need to open an account on Vimeo, but it's completely free. Alright? So now you know. Lo que estás viendo ahorita es mi canal de, vi, de Vimeo. Y esa es mi dirección. Vimeo.com Bashlife Divine Intel. No sé cómo se dice Bashlife. <risa> en uh, ese botón azul que ves allá a tu derecha es el botón que tú tienes que apretar. Se llama Falo. Es para seguirme. Vas a tener que abrir una cuenta en Vimeo. Es completamente gratis. Y cuando yo vaya en, en vivo, tú vas a ser notificado o notificada en tu correo para los que tienen para los que tienen uh, celulares entonces ahí está todo ok así que ahí está mi, mi dirección porque mucha gente me está preguntando eh, mándame tu canal mándame tu canal y de, yo digo yo le estoy mandando el canal y no me hacen caso ok so aquí está a lot of people asking me, well, can you please send me the show? Send me a show. I don't have to send you no show. I'm too busy. Mm -hmm. I'm showing you right now what is my channel link. Go to my link. Subscribe. Click follow. And don't worry. You will be notified. Got it? Beautiful. Okay. So now let's talk about RB. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let me talk about RB. Amen. Amen. Let's see how God is moving beautifully. Let's take a look at the beautiful news right now. By the way, do you do you read do you read um Sam Oliver 
uh, latest analysis of the situation? No. You haven't? Let me show no. you. Let no, me show you. Let me show it to you. Good. You read it to me. All <laughs> right. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go through this. Uh, you can find it. I can find it right here. Hold on. We will have a very interesting divine intel. Yes, we are having a very interesting divine intel right now. <laughs> and uh, oh, watch. Okay. Well, hold on. Let me uh, let me read that. Let me read that in English, and I'm gonna read it in Spanish. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna make it a little bigger, and then I'm gonna show you my computer, and hopefully something make it bigger. But I don't think it's gonna work. Hold on. Hold on. We're holding. Uh, where is this thing? Ah, oh, Jesus. I, something is not connecting. Something is not connecting. Hold on. Don't go. Um, where is it? What's going on? <laughs> oh, it is connected. So what's going on here? Okay, hold on. I don't know what's it, what is it doing. What is not doing it? It's not working. Anyway, well, we'll do this next time. But look, take a look at my computer. Uh, hold on. All right. Take a look at my computer. And this is why Sam Oliver says. He says, he says, Sam Oliver, as you can see, the forest patterns have changed in the last two weeks. Now I'm looking for a set of patterns to begin on IQD futures about the $4 range is the result of the GCR calibration patterns setting in. We, can, we certainly have a break in the system about to take place with the silver today. Many factors will go into the new financial system, taking on new patterns of behavior and showing up on the charts in, in Forex. So he leaving the uh, link and you better listen to him. You know why? Why? Because God just revealed it to me. <laughs> yes. I told you that I'm going to show you the decoded word of King Clement. I decoded it today. Wow. Okay? And I have said it all the time. There is no way we can see a revaluation of the Iraqi dinar unless we got a break in the system. If we could just have the United States make a speech, a national a speech, and say to the whole world, we're going back to gold, I believe you're going to change everything. But right now, we're not gold. Regardless of those gurus, idiots, gurus telling you lies that we already go. We are not in gold. We are not. They are trying to bring us back to gold. There is actually a law that are trying to vote. We don't know nothing about it. Nothing. And I want to show you why God, in his prophetic word, is saying the same thing. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. God is saying the same thing. He even gives us a symbol. What is the RB? Wait for instructions. <laughs> Wait, wait for more because I'm gonna shock you. Watch, I'm gonna shock you. Let me say now. Now let me say in Spanish. Ahorita le voy a decir dijo Sam Oliver. Dice, como pueden ver los patrones de divisas han cambiado en las últimas dos semanas. Ahora estoy buscando un conjunto de patrones para comenzar en IQD, que es el dinar. Futuros por encima del rango de los cuatro dólares. Quiere decir que él cree que va a ser ahí a cuatro dólares el dinar. Esto es el resultado de la configuración de calibri, calibraciones patrones del G, del GCR. Ciertamente tenemos un rompimiento en el sistema que se llevará a cabo hoy con la plata. Él está poniendo la plata, el precio de la plata. Y dice, nuevos patrones de comportamiento apareciendo en los gráficos en Forex. Ahí deja el link y te voy a decir una cosa. Toda la vida he dicho yo que no podemos, no es posible que el dinar se vaya a revaluar. A menos que haya un rompimiento del sistema. Yo siempre lo he dicho. Porque bajo las nuevas reglas, la, las reglas que tenemos ahorita, el dinar siempre va a ser devaluado. Siempre. 
y no hay chance que se vaya a revaluar por las reglas que existen ahorita tenemos que tener un rompimiento del sistema para que eso pase y como te lo dije al principio del show te voy a enseñar que ya estamos ahí porque Dios nos dio el símbolo del Arbi te voy a dar el símbolo del Arbi hoy mantente en sintonía ok so first of all Silver may be the targeting or the, or the triggering of the RB. But according to the prophetic word, it may and it may not be. Are you listening? It may and it may not be. Because the word of the prophetic word of King Clement, it is very difficult to decode it. But I did something marvelous. And when I decoded, I started crying for an hour. Wow. Okay? So, let's continue with the show. And I'll, at the last, I'm going to show you how beautiful our Lord is working for all of us. All right. So, let's go down. Um, You're making us suffer. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not making anybody <laughs> suffer. Uh <laughs> I just, uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's common it's okay. sense. It's, it's okay. It's great expectation. Yeah, you know. Um, so let me just, we didn't have that much uh, today uh, to post, but yesterday was awesome. My God. There's a lot of things that were happening, especially with that plane and the three different countries. We already knew yesterday there was only one plane. Now we got three planes. And it's going to go on, and watch what I'm telling you, it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. It's not that I want these things to happen. It just has been basically in the prophecy. When things seem at the worst, it needs to be really ugly, people, before we get our blessing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a doom in gloom. I even was accused by somebody. Oh, you just like those uh, 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 those prophets doom and gloom, just like Mark Taylor say. No, I'm not saying that. Well, let me just tell you something, okay? Mark Taylor is a very well, good, and, perf and, and very, very famous uh, um, prophet. I try to bring it to my show. Um, unfortunately, he's very busy. Um, but uh, I'm not a prophet, number one. And number two, I'm not being a, a doom and gloom. I'm being realistic. If we were living in a world that is full of happiness and full of joy, I believe these things will be actually, you know, doom and gloom. But we are not living in a world like that. We're living in a very ugly world with ugly people, hating people, hating and making a lot of bad stuff to people. So no, I'm not being doom and gloom. Okay? All right, so... Oh, this is something I want to share with you. And um, she's been attacked viciously. I think she's going to talk about it uh, in the next video. If I'm not mistaken, I haven't talked to uh, our sister, Louis Sharp. Uh, Louis Sharp, if you listen to my show, I would love to bring you back. Please let me know. I just haven't had the chance to write you an email. Um, but you just mentioned the same day that you mentioned this. About God killing the, the cabal on the on their same game. Guess what? God told me <laughs> the day before. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, that was when I mentioned that uh, I knew that all the cryptocurrencies were collapsing. And I started crying. Remember that? You know, yesterday? I did. The, and, 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 and that's when the God told me, it's me. And I was like crying. I started crying. I was like... I'm going to shock you, Benny. I'm going to shock everybody. He even repeated it again. Yeah. Right now, nobody knows why the cryptocurrencies are falling. Nobody knows. Number one, the cryptocurrencies are based on demand and supply. Okay? So, while all the big bulls, all the big investors are putting millions of dollars, to invest in cryptocurrencies. They're not seeing anything reflected on the computers, people. 
They even been actually open up tickets. They going through right now. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not lying. They going through the data. They going through the system. And so far, nobody been able to find out why is not reflecting the millions of dollars they be putting on cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are falling by the spirit of the living God. He is going to kill the cabal and he is going to destroy the cabal on their own game. So let me play that video just a little part. When God is speaking to her, saying the same thing that he told me, no other way can it happen. Okay? This is a confirmation. Le voy a tocar el video de, de Luis Shard, donde ella dice bien claramente que Dios va a jugar las cartas con el enemigo. Y que le va a ganar en su propio juego. Ayer reporté que todas las criptomonedas estaban cayendo y no sabía nadie nada. Hasta salió en Arti en español. Se los enseñé en el show de ayer. No saben nada. No saben por qué esto está colapsando. Hay ingenieros de computación y hay investigaciones que por qué todos los miles de millones de dólares que están inversionando no se ve reflejado. Porque algo sobrenatural está botando el cabal. Dice lo que me dijo Dios a mí. So vamos a poner ahorita el video para que lo veas. Well, so let me just play that video again. Let me play that video. And let's see how my Lord is playing the cabal in a most beautiful way. And enjoy the video. Okay? All right, so let me see where is the video. Uh, where is the video? Oh, right here. All right, <laughs> let's go. You shut me off? Ah, uh, yes. Hi, I'm Los Vogel Sharp. Today is September 6, 2018, and um, late last night I received this um, prophetic word from the Father, and I was actually just laying there in bed, and um, he said, I have an important word to say to the people. So this is, like, amazing what he, what, how, he, how he says this. When, when I read it, you're going you're gonna to see, because this is not something I, I would never, ever write. Ever. So it's definitely from God. Just listen to how he's what he says in this. It's absolutely unbelievable the way God puts scenarios together. And he told me that this is I asked him why he explained it this way. And he said, because it's like a parable. And that's how people remember things. So just listen to how he says this. It's gonna well, I'm not gonna say blow your mind because people always make fun of me for that, so but this is going to blow your mind. So I'm going to say it anyway. For all those that make fun of my blow your mind thing, this is going to blow your mind because we have an awesome God. Hallelujah. I am stepping in, my people, to let you know the game is on. You know the expression I'm speaking of for all you tech people. Time to put all the cards out on the table and ante up. What side are you going to play on? There is only one winning team. And I tell you truthfully, if you choose another player to be on your team, other than any of my chosen vessels, you will fall short. Only my people will be given enough wisdom, power, and strength to play this handout where all bets will be on the table. But only those who hold the winning cards will be the victorious ones. You say, why would our God use card games or computer terms to speak of this time and this final battle of the ages. You must be able to see clearly what is at stake here and only those who have chosen wisely will see who the winning team will be. 
I know you skeptics are looking at the gold and the silver and are trying to see how this can actually play out as a winning hand. As cards are picked and the hand is played out, the numbers add up to 21. The closer you get, the sooner you will win. But if you overplay your hand, you lose. Timing and strategy is what I do, for I know the, who the other team is, and I also know how they choose their cards. They are about to overplay this hand, and the gold and the silver that seems to be underplayed right now will match with the last card drawn. Will you be the winner in the round of 21? And the next time clock is about to also move forward. And each time the enemy draws his card, I already know the cards you will play. Now, you will see victory play out during the worst time the world will ever be in. Your lives are about to win this hand with gold and silver. And I know the enemy has made it look impossible in the natural for such an amazing thing to happen. I tell you plainly, this is the last opportunity for the precious metals to be bought while they are fairly reasonable because they will skyrocket. And you must choose carefully what you, you, you must choose wisely what you are meant to do with your victory. You hear that rain? All of a sudden a storm just came and it's downpouring outside. I don't know if you can hear it. You must choose wisely what you are meant to do with your victory. I have held the Joker card for such a time as this, and you will see how fast my places of refuge will go up. Reprobate minds are everywhere, and you will want to stay away, for they truly do seek to destroy you. I will watch and laugh as evil falls on its face in the end of this game of life. So sorry for all the suffering man has endured because of my evil foe, who once was my friend. So sad for all of mankind that will perish because they choose to listen to evil rather than righteousness. Woe once again to where evil takes its stand. Open your hearts, my people, and accept that I am about to come forward and correct all the abominations in my sight by destroying each and every one of them. Pick a card and hold on to it until I tell you what to do. Make no sudden moves against evil unless I tell you to do it. Timing is critical and I must direct your path before you move so the enemy can be outsmarted at his own game. He chose this game, not me. Trust me and my timing. Victory is ours for true love never fails. Love your father who art in heaven. And that's what I got. And I was in awe that he used a card game. It's not like I'm into playing cards. Not like I haven't played cards over the years, but I was surprised. And then when he says in the end that this is not the game he's picked, Satan's doing this. Yep, Satan's doing this. He's going to be Satan in his own game, people. I got criticized for telling you that I was that I knew who was collapsing the cryptocurrencies. I was attacked yesterday. Why guy has to do anything? You are a moron. You are a liar. Why guy has to do anything with cryptocurrencies? That's from the world. That's from Satan. See, that's the people that I said all the time. Your God is not my God. My God does not limit. Your God is limited under your dogma and under your religious dogma. My God, He can do anything. Okay? Ahí acaba de decir la profeta de que Dios le dijo que le va a ganar a Satanás en su propio juego. Dice, vamos a jugar a las cartas. A ver quién saca el 21 primero. Que vamos a jugar a las cartas y yo seré el ganador. Yo lo agarré este juego, dice el dice padre. Él lo agarró. O sea que él, el Señor, a nuestro Padre Eterno, va a ganarle al diablo en su propio juego. Yo fui criticado por dos llamados cristianos 
porque dije en mi show anterior de que Dios había colapsado las criptomonedas. Mi Dios no es limitado, tu Dios lo es. No me tienes que recordar de las criptomonedas que son del diablo. Todo lo que hay en el mundo es del diablo, todo. Es durante la bendición que tú podrás manejar la situación. Y ahora Dios está diciendo, voy a ganarle al diablo. Es su propio juego, yo no lo escogí, dice el Padre. Fue Él que lo escogió. So this is what is coming, people. Your new paradigm is coming. And it's really, really interesting how these things are developing. What do you think? Hello? Hi. What do you think? Sorry. What do you think about that? What do you think about the video? Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Seen something, right? This is this is uh this is really uh it's a it's awakening, you know? Yeah, yeah, she's she's right on. She's right on. Yeah, it's a wicked. You know, it's funny. A, a while ago, you said that you just wanted, you, you could feel the love of God from her. Even in her harshness, I can mm. feel God, God yeah. in her, and God's love in her. It's awesome. Yeah. So, oh my goodness, sorry for that. Let me put this in. Let me let me go back to the news now. Okay. So okay. let me show you guys the news in English. It's in Spanish, but I'm gonna start in, in English. Okay. Sounds good. So the first bingo was this. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about Mexico, didn't I? <laughs> uh oh. Way before it started, didn't I? Yep. Way, way, way before everything started, I told you about look, watch Mexico. Watch Mexico. They're coming out with new notes. And they saying it's a sign of inflation. Please pay attention. I'm going to show you the sign of the RB. They say that what he said, there's a sign for inflation. 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 I told you the inflation is already here. If you have not noticed, it's because you're probably living in a denial land. We're already in inflation. Means that things are going to be much expensive to buy. As the situation gets worse, we will have protests on the streets we will have riots we will have people killing left and right we will have chaos and panic all around the united states when it hits us but right now as always americans live in a bubble it's called the united states of america <laughs> the whole world is in a bubble called the United States of America. You're not paying attention of the world, around the world. For many of you who had the blessing to leave the United States and travel to some other countries, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But not for the people who has never left this country. Okay? So the reality is not within the bubble of the United States of America. The reality is that things are getting very ugly very ugly a lot of people will not have enough money to buy food to pay for services for water for electricity i told you for many many five years and months through my through my emails and through my shows Things are going to be very, very ugly. It's not going to be pretty. So now I'm going to speak in Spanish. Yo vengo diciendo de la situación en México. Y cómo es que México muy pronto va a revaluar. Pero antes tienen que sufrir. Aquí dice que los nuevos billetes son signos de inflación. Yo te voy a dar a ti el signo o el símbolo del RB. Fíjate bien. Para los que viven dentro de los Estados Unidos, 
tú vives dentro de una burbuja que se llama los Estados Unidos. Tú no estás consciente de lo que pasa en el mundo entero. Y lo que va a pasar en el mundo entero va a ser el reflejo de lo que va a pasar dentro de los Estados Unidos. Van a haber disturbios en, la, en, la, en todas las calles. Va a haber protestas, guerra, hasta para por tratar de hacer una guerra civil dentro de los Estados Unidos. Las cosas se van a poner muy feas. ¿Ok? Pero yo te lo digo, tenemos que pasar por una tormenta antes que vayamos a ver el RV. ¿Ok? Ahí, aquí está la prueba. All right, so the other thing I want to talk to you about is the next news. This is a really nice news. It's in, in Spanish too. So let me just put it in English again. Are you there? I'm there. Oh, good. All right, so let me tell you what's going let on with India. Let's go, let me, let's, let's talk about India. Oh, by the way, uh, I got five Indian jets listening to me. I don't know how to speak Indian, but welcome. <laughs> All right. So it well, says, wait, wait a minute, what happened? I thought I made it in English. Hold on. There you go. India buys gold while reducing United States Treasury bonds. Among the members of states of BRICS, the tendency to replenish gold reserve is consolidated, cons consolidated thus, thus freeing us from the financial dependence of the United States. Let me tell you what's going on. They want to buy gold. They already have a lot of gold. India has, I think, is the third place of most of the gold of the world, I believe, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But they're they buying more gold and they're getting rid of the United States bonds. bonds. The reason why they're doing it because they know already they're elite. They have, they're also elite, okay? They're doing it because they know those bonds are going to be worthless because they're going to devalue. Okay? Our dollar must be devalued without a very strong, with, uh, without um, a less strong dollar, you're not going to change anything. Our index is to the roof right now. We're going to check the index right now to let you know. Uh, but uh, this is why they're doing it. They want to get rid of the, uh, the bonds. They don't even want to touch the bonds because they know that it's going to devalue. When the, deva when the devaluation comes on the bonds, it will be reflected on our currency. And that is when the cabal will take advantage and try to kill Donald Trump character. Watch what I'm telling you. We need to pray for our president. We need to pray for our president very, very hard. Because they are going to, they're building up right now, they're building up a, number one, they're building up a, um, a civil war within the United States. Number one. Number two, they're going to try to make a 9-11 attack again in the United States. We don't know the third one. I've been given a date, that's the September the 13th. I've been given the, the, the date. We don't know what they're going to do on that date. We have a window. Remember the window? The window is September the 10th all the way to 16. Se 16. That's next week. So, you, if you haven't seen your, uh, your instructions, send me an email. Okay? But it's very simple. That is very, very simple, those instructions. If you haven't watched that video. Anyway, let me explain this in Spanish now. <laughs> okay. Okay, aquí está en español. Dice que la India compra oro mientras reduce sus bonos del tercero de Estados Unidos. La razón por cual está reduciendo los bonos de Estados Unidos es porque saben bien de que el bono de Estados Unidos se va a devaluar. Va a bajar de precio. Cuando el bono de los Estados Unidos baje de precio, se va a devaluar también el dólar. Cuando el dólar se va a devaluar, entonces te creo que tú vas a, tú vas a, a, a cambiar todo lo que tú quieras cambiar. Con un dólar, con un índice tan alto como, como está ahorita, que está en el techo, no país se va a poder revaluar. Así trabaja la economía, no trabaja como los estúpidos gurús que te han dicho muchas mentiras. Ok, so we're going to take a look at the index of the dollar. Dollar index. 
All right, so the dollar index right now, I'm gonna take the market watch, and it's 95.3. No way you can exchange against the dollar, the Iraqi dinar, the rupiah, the dong, or the Zimbabwe. Sorry. But then again, we're waiting for a break in the system, right? Mm -hmm. Okay? That's a break in the system. Without a break in the system, trust me, under the new rules, there is no reset. Those new rules, they've been right, they've been written, they've been written, they actually they've been wrote, written, I'm sorry, they've been written those new rules for the reset last year. Pay attention. Mm. They wrote them last year, but they haven't implemented. They have not implemented it. We believe it's probably because of the goal. And as we see, goal is going down to the floor right now. We're going to take a look at the gold price also. We also want to take a look at the silver price also. And this is very important things that you need to understand. And after I, I do that, I will go ahead with a one or two more news. And then after that, get ready. You're going to be shocked. <laughs> Yay. Okay? You're going to be shocked. Este es el índice del dólar. Está 95.34. No hay manera que otro, eh, otro país en el mundo se vaya a revaluar. No puede. El dólar está demasiado alto. Pero siempre estamos hablando de un rompimiento del sistema, así que tiene que pasar algo que la gente diga, ¿y ahora por qué? ¿Por qué ahora? ¿No? Entonces te, vamos, te voy a indicar los precios del oro y los precios de la plata y cómo es esto es importante, porque mira, vamos a, a ver también otro dos, otras noticias, otras dos noticias, y después te voy a indicar cuál es el símbolo del arbit. Así que mantente en sintonía porque te voy a sorprender. ¿Ok? All right, so. Let's go back to this silver and gold. Well, we got the gold price. Let's say the gold price right now. Gold price. And the gold price right now is... What is it? Is 1,195 and falling. Wow. 1,195 and falling. is falling, falling, falling. <laughs> and look, remember what Louis Sharp just said. Right now... You should be buying. Amen. That's the spirit of God telling you. Not me. I'm not a financial consultant. I cannot legally tell you what you should do. But if you believe in God, it's up to you. Let's take a look at the silver price. But before that, let me explain in Spanish. Okay. El oro está cayendo. 1,195 y sigue cayendo. Según la profeta Louis Sharp, dijo que ahorita es el momento para comprar oro, que va a caer más. También hay que comprar plata. Legalmente yo no te puedo recomendar qué tienes que hacer, legalmente. No me quiero meter en problemas legales, ¿ok? Yo no soy ningún idiota, yo soy una persona muy educada. Así que yo no te puedo recomendar nada, pero si tú eres creyente de Dios, depende de ti. No te vayas a poner todos los huevos en una canasta ni tampoco te pongas tú todas tus esperanzas en el RV. Yo lo he dicho miles de veces. Si quieres comprar oro y plata, habla con un profesional. Ahorita todos los precios están para comprar. Mira el plata. Está a 14.17 la onza. Está cayendo más. ¿Ok? Look at the silver. It's 1417 right now. It's falling. Right now, it looks like a resistance right here, but it's actually going down. Okay? So, like I said, legally, I cannot recommend it because I'm not a financial, I'm not a financial consultant. I'm not. Establishment, do you hear me? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I think so, they heard you. I think they did. I think they did hear me. All right, yeah. so let me go through the other. Oh, let me see here. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at the. Wait, let me see. Hold on. <laughs> I 
I no, got another yeah. thing. I, I got I another spoke. thing. Yeah, let's go. Let's let's do this one and that's it. Okay? How about that? Okay. I'm gonna shock you. Watch. Let's do this one. Uh -oh. Um Bloomberg. Five things you need to know before you start the day. Let's go through it. The MSI emerging markets. Emerging markets. Remember we've been talking about the emerging markets? Okay. Oh yeah. The emerging market index retreated for a seven day. Bringing his drop since a peak in January to near, to near to a near night twenty percent, should it reach that level on the New York close, it will place the gouge, the gouge, the gouge, in a bear market. J.P. Morgan Chase, that's the cabal. J.P. Morgan Chase. For those who don't know what are those banks of the cabal, pay attention. Mm -hmm. J.P. Morgan. Chase, BlackRock, INC, warned that a herd mentality has taken over as an access from what? Brazil. Remember what I told you that they stopped somebody from the new elite yesterday. Hmm. Bingo. Why they want to kill him? See that? Wow. Indonesia are caught in sell off in, se in a sell off. European companies with significant exposure to the region are getting hit too. The correlation between the MSI gauge for the European developing economy and stocks has risen to the highest of almost seven months. Wait for the break. The break continues. Ahorita le voy a leer esto en español. Espérense. Crypto launch. They all dropping. Yeah. More than $1,000 over the last two days. Are you listening? Uh -huh. Bitcoin have dropped more than $1,000 over the last two days. God is in control he's going to pull the cabal on their knees and he's going to pull on all, all of you and myself in our knees we all going to bend we're gonna glorify his name mark my words tariff we are we seeing that Ch Donald Trump also going to have another billions of dollars to China. Why? 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 <laughs> because he's pushing for the reset. That's why. Amen. Okay? He's pushing for the reset. Market mix. Woo! Jesus. I'm not going to talk about this. Let's just put it this way. Everything is looking good. Is everything looking good for us? But it's looking very ugly for the world. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it that way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's 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 say this in Spanish if I can do it in Spanish. <laughs> All right. Okay. Aquí está. Oops. Sorry for that. Mira. Las cinco cosas antes de empezar el día. Primero está hablando otra vez de lo, de los mercados emergentes. Está hablando de que más que de todo, está hablando de los bancos. Mira, estos son bancos que pertenecen al cabal. Está hablando del JP Morgan, el Chase, el BlackRock. Dice que advirtieron que la mentalidad del rebaño que ha tomado el control. Está hablando de básicamente de los nuevos mercados emergentes. Ya que los activos de Brasil a Indonesia se ven atrapados en la, en la venta masiva. Ayer quisieron matar a un candidato, que yo te lo dije, lo dije en inglés y no sé si lo repetí en español. Ese candidato es de la nueva élite. Lo quisieron asesinar, lo apuñalaron. ¿Por qué crees que lo apuñalaron? Porque él va a quitar la corrupción en todo Brasil. Yo tengo varios brasileños aquí que me están escuchando. By the way, I know I got a lot of Brazilians listening to my show. A lot. Okay, I know a lot. I got a lot of Brazilians listening to my show, and they're watching and they're paying attention. And I even told you, your government is corrupt, 
and w there will be somebody that will come out chosen by God to get rid of all the corruption. That guy was stopped yesterday. You may not like him because he was a military. He's a military. He's an ex-military. But God can use anyone. Amen. God can use anyone and can shock anyone. So stop putting excuses. ¿Ok? Acabo de decirlo en inglés porque muchos brasileños no hablan mucho bien el español. De cuando apuñalaron al candidato para presidente en Brasil. Y muchos de los brasileños me vienen a mí, no, que él fue militar corrupto. Mira, Dios va a utilizar a quien le da la gana. Así que deja de estar buscando excusas. Él fue escogido por Dios para limpiar la corrupción en Brasil. Veremos a ver si gana. Ojalá que gane. Yo creo que sí va a ganar. ¿Ok? All right. So, crypto submergencies. Bitcoin. Bitcoin se bajó. Ha perdido más de mil dólares en los últimos dos días. Fíjate bien. Ha perdido más de, dos, de mil dólares en los últimos dos días. ¿Por qué? Porque Dios está en control. Le está ganando al cabal en su propio juego. Como dijo la profeta. ¿Ok? De las tarifas. Donald Trump acaba de sacar más de 200 mil millones de dólares otra vez a China. ¿Por qué? Porque está forzando a China a hacer el reseteo financiero. El reseteo de todas las monedas del mundo. Ahora, right. so ahora espérate, porque ahorita te voy a te voy a poner quieto con, lo, con la información que te voy a dar. Pon mucha atención. Ahora, right. so now let's talk about King Clement. Yeah. I was just joined to a King Clement group today, uh, and the guy asked me, "Do you want to join?" I said, "Look, man, you can join me if you want to, but I, I cannot be active. I'm very busy." I have already a, a group called Los Locos de Benny, the crazy of Benny, the crazy guys of Benny. It's in Spanish. Ask them how many times I have posted in their chat, in their group. Very few times. Because I'm too busy. You know? So this guy, you know, telling me, can you, you want to you wanna join us in our group? We talk about King Clement prophecies. We also, you know, we listen to you and this and that. Because that's fine, you know. You want to join into a group, but don't expect me that I'm going to be posting stuff there because I'm too busy. Okay? So, listen to this information there because you might learn something. All right? So, um, hoy se me acercó una persona que me invitó al grupo de aficionados, se le puede decir, o creyentes en la profecía de King Clement. Yo le dije a él, mira, tú me puedes meter si tú quieres al grupo, pero yo no puedo ser activo. Yo tengo un grupo que se llama Los Locos de Benny. Pregúntale a esta gente cuántas veces me he metido. Te van a decir bien claramente, muy pocas veces. Porque yo soy una persona muy ocupada. Yo no puedo estar activo en todos los grupos. ¿Te imaginas todos los grupos que me van a estar, eh, eh, que quieren que yo esté allí? Yo no puedo. Así que a todos los del grupo nuevo de, de fans de King Clement, pongan mucha atención que van, van a aprender algo. ¿Ok? All right, so I'm going to show you right now the video of King Clement. Remember what I told you. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then suddenly something. Remember that? Yes. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then suddenly something. Let's talk about the prophetic word of nothing, nothing, nothing. Then suddenly something. Vamos a, a ver la profecía de King Clement que dice nada, nada, nada. Y de repente algo. Así dice la profecía. Te la voy a enseñar el video en inglés. Lo voy a leer en inglés y te lo voy a leer en español para que lo entiendas. ¿Qué es lo que dijo el profeta? Te voy a enseñar el símbolo del arbí. Y ya pasó. All right. So, let's take a look to the most beautiful prophetic word of King Clement. One of the most beautiful prophetic word of King Clement. And I'm, I want to apologize because I haven't found a better file for this video. Uh, so please understand that I just couldn't find the better file in YouTube about this video. But that's why I wrote it and I'm going to read it to all of you. Okay? 
So just take a look, please. Okay. I know the audio is really terrible, but I could not find a better audio. And please forgive me for that. Let's talk about what he said. I'm going to read it in English. You're going to read it yourself too. All right? So, he is the uh, prophetic word of King Clement. Has it been time? Has it been time? Sudden change. I'm going to repeat that again. Has it been time? Has it been time? Sudden change. For those who are investing, I cannot tell you to do this. One purchasing, one purchasing them. Meaning, he cannot tell you to purchase the dinar. Legally, he can't. For those who are holding on, Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then suddenly something. Don't hold too tight up to go. I'm going to repeat this again. This is very important. Don't hold too tight up to go. I am not an economist. Trust me. But I hear the word of the Lord sometimes. Don't rely too much upon it. What? Don't rely into gold. He's saying don't rely into gold. Totally different of what I've been talking about. And why? Because God does not think the way you think in the way that I think. God works in a very mysterious way, right? So let's continue it. God is open other doors as well. Don't forget to look at the tree. Don't forget to look at the oak tree. It's also a symbol that God has spoken, that has spoke about. He has, God has spoken about a oak tree. Patrick, if you're watching my video, you know we spent about two hours Finding out what was the oak tree, right? I found that today. That's the symbol of the RB. That's the symbol of the RB. Let me call my pastor again because I had to hang up on her. Hold on. So we're going to join this. We're going to find that watch. I'm going to shock you. All right. Hello? Hello. Hi, hi. Oh my goodness, why are you taking so long? <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, so. It's called delay. Okay, delay. Okay, got it. All right, so. That is the letter. That's what he said. Wow. So, he said, look, he said, totally, totally different than what we're doing right now. Gold is falling, right? Yep. I know it is going to rebound. We all wait to rebound to go higher than 10,000. Yes. So the United States can go back and say, okay, 
now gold has a value, we are going to bring back gold to the dollar. And then, that's the gold standard, that's the break in the system. Yeah. Right. But, but guess what? That's not, not the correct. way, that is not the way God is going to do it. <laughs> wow. He's talking about the oak tree. Don't forget that to look at the tree. Don't forget to look at the oak tree. It's also a symbol. That's the symbol of the RB. So let me explain this in Spanish and I'll come back to you. Oh no. <laughs> okay. All right. Aquí está en español. Ponga atención. El profeta dijo. No ha sido el tiempo, no ha sido el momento, cambio repentino. Para aquellos que están invirtiendo, no puedo decirte qué hagas con esto. O sea, él legalmente no te puede decir si tienes que comprar dinares o no. Que los compre. Para aquellos que están aguantando, o sea, que tienes el dinar. Nada, nada, nada y, lo, y luego repentinamente algo. Está hablando del cambio de la tasa del dinar. Para que lo entiendas, no hay nada, no hay nada, no hay nada, de repente algo. Eso me dice que va a venir una situación que todo el mundo va a esperar el cambio de la tasa del dinar. Entiéndelo. Va a haber una situación que todo el mundo, todo el mundo va a ver que algo tiene que cambiar. Porque dice nada, nada, nada y luego repentinamente algo. Dice, no dependas mucho del oro. Fíjate bien, cosa muy diferente a lo que estamos haciendo nosotros. Nosotros estamos viendo la caída de los precios del oro. Sabemos que va a rebotar y se va a ir al techo. Y después va a valer más de 10 mil dólares. Cuando pase eso, yo te vengo diciendo que Donald Trump va a tener que traernos de vuelta los tendales de oro. Y ahí te creo todo. Ahí te creo que tú vas a cambiar todo lo que tú quieres cambiar. Pero Dios no está trabajando así. No dependas mucho del oro, no soy economista, dice, dice el profeta. Confía en mí, pero puedo oír la palabra del Señor a veces, no confiar demasiado. Fíjate lo que dice, no te confíes de la caída del oro. Porque Dios está abriendo otras puertas. Fíjate lo que está diciendo, Dios está abriendo otras puertas. También, no te olvides de ver el árbol. Fíjate bien, está hablando de un árbol. No olvides poner atención al árbol del roble. También es un símbolo, dice, que Dios habla. El árbol del roble es el símbolo del arbi. Y yo acabo de encontrar el símbolo del arbi. Ese va a ser tu intel divino. So, let's go back to English. All right, let's go back to English. Okay, we're here. Number one, God is telling the prophet, don't hold or don't trust about gold. Yes. Okay, he said also that he's opened other doors. God is open other doors. Don't forget to look at the tree. Don't forget to look at the oak tree is a symbol ladies and gentlemen brothers and sister i'm going to show you the symbol of the rb all right after making a lot of research this is what i did i went through all the flags of Asia and the Middle East and I look for a tree in those flags I could not find one tree so the last place that I thought that I would ever find the oak tree it was when God told me why are you looking outside and I said, why are you looking outside? Because there's nothing inside. 
And God said, Are you sure? I said, Do we have the oak tree? And he said, Yes. Where is the oak tree, my Lord? And here's the oak tree. The mighty oak tree. In 2004, the oak tree was designed as the official national tree of the United States of America. Wow. The symbol of the RB is what Donald Trump is doing right now around the world by resetting and putting all the tariffs to against China and devaluing all the money because God speaking parables because God worked mysteriously because God is in control nobody else no guru and their false sources are you listening gurus and your false sources and your false calls and your emergency of a or a stupid quantum system are you listening tank and all the garbage that you people have been brought out to the land by not helping anything by falling them into chaos and chaos and panic and confusion all of you will be destroyed by the truth and nothing by the truth Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the old three represent the United States, the United States, and the United States is going to make the RB happen. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. Took me two, hour, two hours for Patrick and myself to find out. And I said, why? I couldn't find it. I just could not find it outside. And he said, why are you looking outside? Looking inside. Hmm. I just never know. I never knew that, that the oak tree was the national tree of the United States. Did you? No, I never knew. And look at the year, 2004. 2004, they came and they signed it and they said it was the official national tree of the United States. Bingo. And we've been watching the moves of the United States. Yeah. Bingo. Okay. Ya te diste cuenta. Oh. El oak tree o el, el árbol de roble es el símbolo de los Estados Unidos. En el 2004 fue diseñado y fue oficialmente eh, declarado que es el árbol oficial de los Estados Unidos. Quiere decir que Donald Trump, que representa los Estados Unidos, te va a dar el arbi. ¿Acaso no fue lo que te dije yo que Donald Trump es el hombre del arbi? Did I tell you guys that Donald Trump was the arbi or was I wrong? No. I'm be, I might be completely wrong, right? Because I'm 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 disgusting, man. I am disgusting. I'm a sinner. This is why they hate me. This is why they try to hack me in my server. Because I bring in the truth. Aquí está lo que tú quieres. Este es el símbolo del RB. Si los Estados Unidos, si Donald Trump no te trae y no fuerza, porque está forzándolo con miles de millones de dólares en en aranceles en contra de, de China y otros países devaluando todas las monedas del mundo si no lo hacen no vas a cambiar <coughs> by the way let me remind anybody everybody ok who's gonna win the world trade or the trade war whatever you wanna call it who's gonna win the trade war if the United States win the trade war, forget about the RP. I'm going to repeat that again. If the United States win the trade war, forget about the RB. The United States will lose the trade war. China is going to win it. 
it has been as a design. This is an agreement that it was written back in 1995 between the old elite and the new elite. These are actors acting up for something that they are already agree upon. China is going to win the, the trade war and then the dollar will devalue. And it has been devalued, it will also devalue up to 30%. After when it goes to 30%, then all of you will be able to exchange for the breakthrough, for the break in the system. We are basically going to spend for the last five years after we do the RB, and then again the United States will be the number one standard money in the world. And we're going to go back to be the great country that we are right now. Okay, this is what the agreement is all about. And God knows it. ¿Quién va a ganar la guerra comercial entre China y los Estados Unidos? Va a ser China, porque si la gana Estados Unidos no vas a cambiar. Tiene que ganar la China para que el dólar se devalúe. Eso fue un acuerdo que se firmó en 1995 entre la élite vieja y la élite actual, la nueva élite. Cuando pase eso, entonces vas a poder hacer tus cambios de divisas y vamos a llegar a tener una condición muy fea en los próximos cinco años en los Estados Unidos. Pero no te preocupes porque tú vas a tener mucho dinero. Después de eso, el dólar americano va a volver a ser el estándar dinero, el dinero estándar de todo el mundo. Y vamos a llegar a ser otra vez el país tan grande como somos ahorita. So guys, these are the things that I have spoken and then, you know, many people, they try to, you know, make a mockery out of me and they attack me and then later on they shut up when I put them wrong okay you know Ben yes uh, in the Bible it talks a lot a lot about the oak tree and I just looked up the symbolism mm -hmm. of the oak tree of the word oak listen to this okay go ahead the Hebrew name for oak is derived from the word providence which means are you ready yes divine guidance wow i know wow <laughs> acaba de decir la profeta que encontró en la biblia el significado de la palabra roble el de la, del, del significado en, en hebreo de la palabra roble que es que lo que significa el roble el, el árbol roble um, significa y, y significa, significa providencia divina o guía divina wow inc increíble incredible isn't that incredible yes very incredible um this is something this is awesome guys i give you the symbol of drb the united states of america it is not the family dragon it is not the elders it is not the aliens is not the Saint Germain. It's not all that bull crap of the Netherland. <laughs> Bingo. Bingo. Hmm. ¿Ya ven? Ahí está todo. ¿Cuál es el símbolo del Arby? No es la familia Dragón. No es. Los uh, viejitos, no es San Germain, no es los extraterrestres, no, es los Estados Unidos de América. ¿Cómo te quedó? ¿Cómo te quedó la cara? Incredible, dice. Yes, go ahead. I have one more thing. It says here, and providence means that God has directed every detail of creation. And I'm going to say every detail of the financial system, the financial break, the RV, etc., etc. Yep. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes, guys. Everything is just turning so good. But guess what? There is a beginning and the end. And unfortunately for tonight, this is the end. <laughs> okay. 
let's hold on to our faith let's praise to our Lord